friends, it's Brian and it's time for another Jeep video. I've been working on Jeep a lot lately, so today I've got some free time. I just finished putting the uh, replacement airbags in and putting the damn dash back together. So now I'm going to finish weaving wire loom in woeful places. Woeful places is under this hood because all that split loom has disintegrated at the age of this Jeep. So I ordered some three quarter inch some 3 8 inch and some quarter inch to protect the wires and what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish changing out all this split loom that is shot to hell and that's the project I'm going to be working on. I'm going to put the camera into time lapse because I think this is kind of boring. I don't think there's any special commentary that I can add to this as I move through each piece of split loom that needs to be addressed. Um, and uh, you can see what the outcome looks like. It's, you know, it's, it's a nice way to protect the wires. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm doing. And I hope you enjoy this. Please remember to like the video if you enjoy it. Subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. And hit that alert button so you can find out when I produce new videos. Uh, all the videos related to this Jeep are in the Jeep Build playlist. Uh, I've been working on it for a little over a year, and the idea behind this was to, I wanted to own a Jeep, I wasn't about to pay the crazy amounts of money they wanted for one uh, at a dealership, and I knew I wanted to customize it anyway, so I bought a salvage Jeep and saved it from the recyclers. Um, and I've been putting it back together ever since, I'm really close to having it back on the road, and I'm real excited about it. So let's do it to it with the wire loom.
All right, folks, that's it for today. I have run out of electrical tape, and I ordered some TESA 51036, which is supposed to be the cat's meow or the bee's knees. Um, it's supposed to be really similar to this stuff. Um, I use 3M Super 33. You know, the Super 33 is good enough, but when I get some TESA in, I'll probably recover this because yeah, I ain't got shit else to do. Um, the... Uh, Harness for the um, headlight. Where the hell is it? Yeah, there it is. Nope, that ain't it. That's too short. Where is it? Nope, nope, that ain't it. Um, that ain't it. Anyway, there was one of them that um, there were some exposed wires on. I was like, wow, that's not supposed to be like that. Um, I don't know where it has gone to at this point. Uh, this one, yeah, this is it. It's, that's got some, it had some exposed wires, so I was like, wow, I'm glad I caught that. Because, uh, my brother's, uh, Cherokee burned down his XJ. Um, probably over some stupid electrical shit. Anyway, this is a lot easier to do without the engine in, and I'm waiting on those brown dog engine mounts that, so I can salvage that engine. And hopefully I'll get this thing on the road here in the next six weeks. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a funny joke. Um, anyway, it's been going on long enough that um, I, I think we're almost there. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the timeline.